Aluminum is a highly reactive metal that can strip oxygen from water molecules to generate hydrogen gas. Its widespread use in products that get wet poses no danger because aluminum instantly reacts with air to acquire a coating of aluminum oxide, which blocks further reactions. For years, researchers have tried to find efficient and cost-effective ways to use aluminum's reactivity to generate clean hydrogen fuel. A new study by researchers at UC Santa Cruz shows that an easily produced composite of gallium and aluminum creates aluminum nanoparticles that react rapidly with water at room temperature to yield large amounts of hydrogen. We don't need any energy input, and it bubbles hydrogen like crazy. I've never seen anything like it, said UCSC chemistry professor Scott Oliver. Oliver and Bakhtin Singaram, professor of chemistry and biochemistry, are corresponding authors of a paper on the new findings, published February 14 in Applied Nanomaterials. The reaction of aluminum and gallium with water has been known since the 1970s, and videos of it are easy to find online. It works because gallium, a liquid at just above room temperature, removes the passive aluminum oxide coating, allowing direct contact of aluminum with water. The new study, however, includes several innovations and novel findings that could lead to practical applications. A U.S. patent application is pending on this technology. Previous studies had mostly used aluminum-rich mixtures of aluminum and gallium, or in some cases more complex alloys. But Singarum's lab found that hydrogen production increased with a gallium-rich composite. In fact, the rate of hydrogen production was so unexpectedly high the researchers thought there must be something fundamentally different about this gallium-rich alloy. Using scanning electron microscopy and X-ray diffraction, the researchers showed the formation of aluminum nanoparticles in a 3 to 1 gallium-aluminum composite, which they found to be the optimal ratio for hydrogen production. People have struggled to make aluminum nanoparticles, and here we are producing them under normal atmospheric pressure and room temperature conditions. Making the composite required nothing more than simple manual mixing. Our method uses a small amount of aluminum, which ensures it all dissolves into the majority gallium as discrete nanoparticles, Oliver said. This generates a much larger amount of hydrogen, almost complete compared to the theoretical value based on the amount of aluminum. It remains to be seen, however, if this process can be scaled up to be practical for commercial hydrogen production. First author Gabriella M. Burchin is graduate student in Singarum's lab. https colon slash slash ift. tt, wwynqbs, accessed February 18, 2022. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.